and she didn't know what to do with it because she already has ones for her face um, and I said she could use it in nail art she was like how um, so I'm actually going to use this fan brush and I'm going to do fan brush out just for Cara so uh, yeah she can get some idea I did link her to a video but um, yeah um, this brush here would probably make a pretty good cleanup brush a little angled brush but I don't know how stiff it is um, I'm not sure how that one would turn out I probably need to do the same to that as I'm planning on doing to the others. Uh, so next we have, I was in Dezo in town, bought myself a box of these cotton puffs. They're rectangular type ones. They were a good price and there's like 180 in here. So I thought I'd see what they're like and if I like them then I'll keep on buying them if I don't like them. Um, no harm, no foul. I'll just use them to remove nail polish. And the other thing I found is these. They have like three different types. They have the baby one, they have these ones, and then they have another one. These ones are meant as cosmetic type ones. So, um, there's a lot of extra packaging in this, unfortunately, but... For sanitization's sake, it's actually not necessarily a bad thing. So they're little individually wrapped ones. And as you can see, one end is a normal round one, and one end's a pointy one. When you need to do things that you want fine precision. I thought, that's really good. I like those. So I bought those. Um, I've also recently picked up from several, from two different buyers, actually, some more swatch sticks. Um, I have finally finished swatching my, almost my entire nail polish collection, minus, uh, it's like six or eight polishes, which I will share with you in a minute, um, that I haven't actually done, um, but I've done all the rest of them, and yeah, so, um, these will probably get used more for practice nail art type stuff. I'm probably going to be trying to do a lot more of that kind of stuff, not necessarily on my own nails, but on like swatchy nails. Um, the probably one of the only makeup shopping I've done recently is I w thought I would try this uh, Rimmel Match Perfection concealer. I am trying to find a concealer that a works underneath my eyes, is the right colour, doesn't end up looking disgusting, and doesn't change colour. Because all the rest of them seem to change colour. So I'm going to try this one. I've got it in Ivory 010. We'll see what that's like. And the other makeup -y thing I got is this Revlon HD Matte Lip Colour in uh... Glitz or Brilliant, um, I'm not 100% sure, uh, <laughs> um, they had other colours that were more normal, um, but I decided to get this one because it's uh, not normal. Damn, that smells good. <laughs> it's the first time I've opened it. So, uh, yeah, it was half price. These are 20 dollars or something in Australia, but like for eleven dollars, um, which is still stupidly expensive. But I've been curious about them for ages, so <laughs> I bought me one of them. Uh, and uh, so onto some nail, more naily type stuff. Uh, this I got from my son. Uh, my oldest son uh, didn't go to something with his mates, and they gave him a little care package um, because he dogged them. Um, and this was in the care package, was this nail polish from Sally Hansen. This is in all bright. It's a lovely bright uh, pink nail polish. So he gave that to me because he knows I love nail polish. When I made my recent um, buy from my nail supply place where I get like my acrylic powder and um, monomer and that kind of thing, um, 
I bought, you know, things like new brushes and new files and everything. But I decided to go and have a bit of a look through their nail polish, which I don't normally bother to do um, because their prices are usually too high. But they had OPI for five dollars a bottle. Not all their OPI, but they did have, in particular, the colour paints for five dollars, which I've been wanting these for ages. Um, I mean, they, maybe they're not the best, I don't know if everybody likes them, but they were $5 and I thought I can't not buy them for $5 each. So I have Pen and Pink, which is like the magenta -y one, um, Turquoise Aesthetic, which is sort of the turquoise -y one, I have Indigo Motive, which is the blue one, almost, almost touch of purple in that one. Um, I have Magenta Muse, which looks red to me. Then we have Primarily Yellow, which clearly is yellow. We have Purple Perspective, which is purple. Then we have Landscape Artist, which is the green one. And also, even though I, I probably didn't need it because I have like silver polish, um, I got the base, which is called Silver Canvas. Uh, yeah, so I actually thought that was pretty good for five bucks each. Um, and to get um, eight polishes at five bucks each, uh, normally OPI in Australia is at least ten dollars a bottle depending on where you buy it from. So yeah, half price, not going to complain. Just drinking coffee whilst I'm doing this. Okay, so I made a relatively large buy from Born Pretty. Um, the irony is I um, I review products for Born Pretty, which uh, if you follow my Instagram, you probably know. Um, and I had put in my next one for the products for review, and about two, three days after that, like they'd already sent it, I put in an order myself. I got the order that I made but I don't have the review products yet. <laughs> uh, not sure how that works. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of stuff that I've been looking at for ages, and it was a remarkably good deal, as it usually is on Born Pretty. Um, I do have a coupon code down below. Um, it is off the f anything that's full price. So, I mean, if you're getting a discount, anyway like a lot of the time they have like 40 or 50 percent off uh they don't give you another discount on top of that which you know i guess is fair enough because the prices are so reasonable really um so i got this set which has what's that, seven six seven brushes and this thing here which actually feels like the kind of stuff that we use. Yeah, it is. Um, this is like hard. Um, you can actually take, it's like a little stone thing. You can actually take um, your, like if you've got cuticle up on your nail, you just give it a very gentle rub with this and it'll actually pick it up. It's um, a type of, it's called pterygium stone um, and it's what uh, is often used to remove uh, dry cuticle that is stuck on that nail bed um, but it's got a whole bunch of different brushes in different sizes which can be used for gel and um, this one here the shape of this one here is the kind of one that you would use for like 3d um, acrylic like flowers and stuff now when you get brushes like this they're almost always like super duper rigid so what you gotta do is you've got to break the rigidity of them and just kind of give them a little scrape with your nail just super gently and you'll get this like stuff come off um, it's just part of the manufacturing process and you should always do that 
before you start using the brush. Um, because, I don't know if you can see, there's a little stuff coming off there. Um, it just means that the brush will be much easier to use when you start using it. And as you can see now, it's not like super rigid like this one here is like rigid. But once you give it a little bend and then scrape off the stuff that's on it, it's perfectly fine for using and it ends up like soft. This one would actually be a good cleanup brush. Angled brushes work well for cleanup brushes. Um, the other thing is, you know, you get these stupid things. Don't once you've wet your brush and used your brush, don't put it back on there. It's it's useless. Um, and also, don't store your brushes. Uh, if you wet your brush, don't store them up this way, lie them down flat or put them on something um, so that they tilt down because otherwise you get water in the ferrule up here. There's actually glue in here and if you get the glue wet, your brush will fall apart. <laughs> it's as simple as that, your brush will fall apart. So yeah, that's actually a really good set. It's got some really good choices. It's got a really nice fine detail-y brush here. It's got a striper brush. Um, these ones with the flat square end on them, you can use for one stroke kind of thing. So that's actually a really good set. Um, I also got this brush here. Now this brush is meant for doing like ombre type thing, particularly with gel. It's actually, it looks like it's had a really bad haircut. Um, It looks like they didn't cut it properly or something. Yeah, it's got these like extra ones, but that's actually what makes it work, is um, that they're different lengths on the end. So yeah, um, looking forward to trying that out. Um, I have one client in particular who has gel polish all the time, and I've been wanting to do like an ombre type thing because um, like let's not even bother trying to put that back on. Um, <laughs> I like to do um, things like gradients and stuff, and it's much harder with gel polish. You can't, like, the spongy thing doesn't really work, so, yeah. Um, and I also got this one, which is the same kind of idea. It's just a little bit more severe. Um, it's quite jagged, but it's the same kind of idea for the same kind of reason. These tubey things are... So cool. These would probably be, you should keep these for, um, and these, if you do miniatures, cups and jars and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm into miniatures, so I know these things. <laughs> I got these, which, um, they're meant for putting, I actually took one out because I was using it for something. Um, they're meant for putting, uh, practice nails on. Um, they actually come with magnets as well, so you can stick them to the top of the tin. You just stick the magnet on the bottom there. Um, and then you can stick them on something metal and they'll stick to it. Which is a great idea. I like that idea. Um, yeah, so there's five of them in there for doing five nails. So I got those. I got this cool little contraption. I bet you're wondering what the heck this is. It just looks like a piece of pink metalized plastic, which actually is what it is, is pink metalized plastic. Um, yeah, definitely plastic. <laughs> Far too light to be actual metal. Um, but what this is, is a brush stand. So when you're working and you've got paint on your brush, you stick your brush there. And Born Pretty has a whole bunch of different styles of these. They have ones that look like little kitty cats and stuff that you can stick your brushes on. But yeah, that is the that is the purpose of them. It's just to hold your brush so that it doesn't go rolling around and you don't get paint or whatever all over your work area. So that's what that's for. Which is pretty cool. It's a bit, a bit rough. <laughs> There's a great scratchy thing sticking out there, but... Um, I bet if I just grab a nail file, yeah, I could just sand that back so it's not dangerous or anything. Uh, I picked up this cool little tool. I have several things like this 
floating around. It's supposed to be a gem picker opera, um, like the the kind of gems that you stick on, like nail art and stuff like these these things here. It's supposed to help you pick that up. Um, this one has a metal end on it. I have a whole bunch of these that are um, like this one here is a kind of like a wax. But it's the same kind of idea. It um, and I also use. If you've seen any of my videos, uh, orange wood sticks with a little piece of stuff on the end of it. And I have another one that has um, like a wax stuff that you stick on the end of it, and that's what picks it up. But they're all basically uh, the same idea. They they're just tools for that. I like having 101 different gadgets that do exactly the same thing as all the other gadgets I've got. Uh, I picked up another stamper, not because like, I really super duper needed another stamper, because I have heaps of them, um, and they always send you a scraper every time you buy one. These scrapers are actually quite good. I tend to use them as um, palettes for nail polish when I'm doing dodicules and stuff like that, but they're, they're really, really good for stamping. But the reason I got this particular stamper is this is a double-ended stamper. So it has that end, and then it has a much smaller end. So if you just wanted like a little image, so yeah, um, yeah, it's not a sticky one. It's just a wow. That doesn't dry, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got myself a new uh, drill bit. I like drill bits. Uh, this is for my nail drill. Um, the reason I wanted this one is because it's um, anodized to be like rainbow. I'm not obsessed with rainbows or anything at all. It might be a little bit on the rough side. It doesn't actually tell me what grit it's supposed to be. Normally they have a thing on them that tells me. I'm going to have to be careful with that one. Well, it's pretty to look at anyway. It wasn't super expensive either, so. Um, then I got some gel stuff. Oh, now I dropped something. Um, so let me see. I got some... Um, this is a gel, like a gel paint type thing. It's, it's not a hard gel, it's, um, and the colour on the outside, yeah, see that these ones are properly safety seals. It's actually this colour, it's green, I've got a green one. Because this kind of green, or the green that it looked to, to be on the side, is not a green I actually own. Um, and then there's this one, which... I didn't realise the packaging was quite so cute. Um, I don't remember which one this is. That's right. She double safety sealed, so I can't find out what it is. Come on now. Hey now. You're a rock star. Get your show on. Hey, hey now, you're a rock star. Ugh, I'm going to have to wreck it. Wreck it, Ralph. Um. Oh, I remember what that one is. Um, I got this one. I should have recognized because of the thing. Okay, so this one here. See how it's got a little teddy bear on the top of it? That's literally what it is. It's, it's supposed to look like fur, but without being furry. So it's kind of got two colours in it mottled together, so you get that kind of fur type of look. Um, I thought that was fun. There's this one, which is one of the chameleon cat eye ones. Um, I can't remember what colour it is, but uh, yeah, it's one of the chameleon cat eye ones, which are the ones that... Um, they um, get the cat's eye thing in them, but they also colour shift at the same, like the duochrome at the same time. I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. So, 
that's cool. Um, I got myself another bottle of the um, sealing coat, like top coat type thing. Um, pretty sure this is the same as the one that I currently have, which I've been using. Um, which one is this? This one says no white top coat. Pretty. Yeah, so a top coat and then another. I'm pretty sure one of those is supposed to be matte, um, but I don't remember. Um, and this is Icy Fire, which is a, another magnetic cat eye gel polish. So I'll have to try those out and see what they're like. And the last thing I got was a lot of stamping plates to add to my collection of stamping plates. <laughs> um, I have a lot of stamping plates. Uh, so there's this one, which I got this one specifically because one of my clients, um, I recently did something similar like this on her, but she'd seen this image and she really wanted that image, but I didn't own it. Now I own it. So there we go. Um, but this one, which is like fake water marble. I am not a water marbling witch. I'm not very good at it. Um, I don't know why I got this one. Must have liked something about it. <laughs> I don't actually remember picking that one, but apparently I did. Uh, this one I got because of the roses images on it. I really like them, especially like this one and this one here. And the fact that it's got little individual ones on it is always good. Um, this one is coffee. Um, I had to get the coffee one. It's also got some cupcakes on it. So, yeah. This one, again, I'm not really sure. I, again, I don't remember picking this one. But apparently I did. It's got some interesting images on it. Uh, this one I got because it has the scales on it, um, and I don't have a scales stamping image at this point in time. Um, it also got net on it, which is really cool. And we have this one which I got because it has wood grain on it, and I like wood grain. So that's that one. Second to last one is this one which has... A little mermaid right there. Um, it has seals, a whale, and some nice little seaside type images. And the last one is a space themed one. So it has like planets and rocket ships and an alien. Oh. Oh. Shining off my light. Let's just block my light a little bit. There we go. See the alien? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I think that's everything. Yes, I'm pretty sure that that is everything that I have recently bought. Um, yeah. So, if you want to subscribe, click down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail art type videos or whole videos or whatever uh, let me know down below what you'd like to see first um, of this stuff in action and leave me a comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I will see you in my next video see ya